stock compression. How's it going everyone? I'm Aaron Dati. Welcome to another Wedding Walkthrough Wednesday. Today we are going to be talking about audio compression. So what is compression you may ask? Well, compression is just amplifying or reducing the sound of the overall audio clip. So if you want to either increase the overall level of the audio, you can, or if you want to decrease it, you can. So here's how I compress my audio. And we will be using the headphones um, again. Same ones I used from last one. And I will all, yeah, I sound super muffled. It's so weird, it's throwing me off. So we will still be working with the same clip from last time or from last week. Um, but here is what my compression looks like. And this is where you really start to see like the overall change in your actual audio clip. So one of the first things I do just to monitor my overall compression, I leave it, I change it from meter to graph just because it gives me a better representation of all the like audio signals that are going through. So I like to keep the knee from 0.6 to one. Usually I'd like to start at 0.6 and if I do find it needs a little bit more uh, smoothening of the curve, then I will put it to one. And always turn off auto gain. Um, I, yeah, you just don't wanna hear like all the other like ambient noises that you are picking up on. You don't wanna amplify those as well. You wanna keep it to where just the audio from the toast giver is amplified. So I am messing with the knee right now. So if I have it at zero, you see how, how like straight or I guess like jagged that curve is. So you definitely want to have that curve just a little bit more um, seamless. So that is why I keep it anywhere from 0.6 to one. And the ratio, I do keep it at four. So a four to one ratio. And then when it comes to threshold, this is where you want to uh, see where it peaks. So you, you'll definitely want to turn off your compression um, effect and just listen to the overall clip. My father loved Lauren. They had a special relationship. He always called her my little lady, and so I have to this day. So this audio track specifically is peaking around minus 18, so I will have that threshold at minus 18. And then for my attack and release, I keep those at as low as possible, so zero for the attack and five for the release. And then the last thing I tweak is the makeup. So the makeup is just adding how much extra noise you want to give to the clip itself. Again, I want to keep my audio, um, audio bytes specifically in between the minus 12 to minus 6 dB range. If it does go a little bit over minus 6, it is totally okay. I just want to leave that leeway. That way, no audio is peaking. And you will see when I do uh, mess with the makeup, the overall curve does start to go up too on the graph. So you, that is why I like the graph, just because you have a more visual representation of what the audio clips are looking like. So for this audio bit specifically, I want to put the makeup at 9.5 dB. And once you do listen to it and you do look at the audio levels, um, you will see that it is hovering anywhere from minus 12 to minus six. And again, you wanna see the before and after and hear the total difference. So this is what it sounds like without the audio compression. My father loved Lauren. They had a special relationship. He always called her my little lady. And so I have to this day. And then here it is with the audio compression. My father loved Lauren. They had a special relationship. He always called her my little lady, and so I have to this day. Again, you could very much hear it clearly without having the ambient noise or the other noise like in the background be overly like loud. And you will see if I put the audio auto gain on like zero, you will see what happens. So everything gets super loud and you can see immediately that everything's peaking. Hopefully this doesn't blow up my eardrums. Ooh, that's loud. Okay, so we will put that makeup lower and see what happens if we put on auto gain. My father loved Lauren. They had a special relationship. He always called her my little lady, and so I have to this day. So for me, I do not like how that sounds. I don't like having auto gain like that um, on, specifically if I'm trying to just dial in just for a voice. So this is exactly why you wanna just tune in every audio or fine tune every audio bit that you work with and just have it sound a lot more rich and clean and amplified in a way um, just to really have their voice pop but not overly pop you know what I meant and again I am no audio engineer I just want to 
have that little disclaimer. These are just tips I've picked up along the way. That's all I got for today's video. Hopefully you learned something. Like the video if you liked it, share if you're into that, consider subscribing if you're not already, and hit that bell notification to stay up to date when I post new videos. As always, hit, follow me on all the social medias at Aaron Death 2 Films, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Yeah, a lot of coffee today. Yeah.